security and everything. <laughs> we're live. Welcome to Simon. No oh, my, my, I got a droopy microphone. I'm sorry. Uh, we're live. Welcome to Simon No Chanama. Uh, and my special guest this week is uh, Zashu Zipperin. Uh, please introduce yourself, Zashu. Hi. Uh, thanks, Simon. I'm very glad to be here. My name is Joshu Zipporin. I am a composer slash violinist. Um, I uh, work in various art uh, styles, I guess, from kind of fusion, Kyogen fusion works in San Francisco to more kind of humor based compositions uh, so far here in Tokyo, uh, mm. Japan. And uh, yeah, and I've been exploring, recently exploring the uh, ancient tradition of Gaoku music, which is uh, ancient Japanese court music. And yeah, at the moment, my kind of current project is to incorporate that, the kind of more conceptual and philosophical aesthetics in that tradition into a more modern uh, context. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, is it uh, what you're studying now in Japan is art and music? Um, Mm -hmm. is, it, is it exclusively gakaku now? I mean, you said, yes, you're concentrating on that now, but uh, are there any other elements? Uh, what do you mean? Of, I mean, with, in, in general, in, 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 of uh, traditional Japanese art and music. Oh, in general. Yeah. Oh, yeah um, in the course. So, right, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I am concentrating on gakaku, but it's tr I've al I'm also um, go looking back at my training in Kyogen, uh, no in Kyogen, which I've been doing in the past before. Um, mm. So, you know, I've been going back and forth to Japan a lot in my childhood. Could, and so, when I, mean, I was in. Can I, can I just stop you there? I mean, um, I, I know what no is. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, right. the, 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 the audience, I mean, um, could you could you give, give sort of just a brief, very brief yeah. description yeah, sure. of, of the difference between no and Kyogen? Right, yeah. <laughs> no drama, right? Yeah. Mm. So, um, no is, so no, so Kyogen and no are like kind of. Uh, well, the traditional uh, theater art in, of Japan, no, tends to deal more with uh, cerebral, kind of spiritual, kind of more solemn themes, uh, like you know, um, communing with like a ghost of a of a fallen soldier, for soldier, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Um, while Kyogen tends to deal more, it, it used to be it. It used to function as a kind of interlude play where people would kind of chat with each other and sit up to go to the bathroom or whatever um, as a kind of um, comedic break, I guess, to um, dealing with more kind of earthly, you know, everyday human, mm. qu you know, quibbles and things like that. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, well, I guess that's a broad strokes. You, yeah. I mean, you, you say you study it. Do you, do you actually sort of... In, in, in how much depth do you do actually sort of participate or, or is it just observation and, and, and research? Uh, so yeah, nowadays it's more just, uh, well, it's kind of half and half. I used to actually, you know, perform it, you know, like I, I learned it from, from the masters and kind mm -hmm. of uh, sometimes perform uh, with peers or with them sometimes, or otherwise nowadays I'm kind of more on the other end, kind of more observational, but mm -hmm. sometimes I help out. Uh, backstage, or you know, whatever, or or you know, sometimes I participate. Oh, so but... so, so you're one of those guys all dressed in black who comes on and help helps the no people change their costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. more or less. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you 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 feature you feature in the, in 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 the in, in the guide, you know. <laughs> all yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> change it. <laughs> Yeah. So well, yeah, that, that. I mean, but th those are those are now aspects. The the the, the kind of secondary. To, it's now gagaku. I mean, let's <clears> let's <throat> just let's just for the for the for the sake of the audience who don't know, could you could we a brief summary of gagaku? <laughs> what is it? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Start, <laughs> start, 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 starting about start. 40, 1400 years ago. Okay. Um, you can't <laughs> yeah. start now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's yeah sum it up in thirty seconds. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So basically, all right. So it's it's uh, it's a court, ancient court art, Japanese court music, I guess uh, you could say that. Yeah. Uh, it's it right. It started to kind of take coalesce and take its form at around yeah, thousand four hundred years ago. Uh, it began more as kind of imported music from you know uh, the Tang Dynasty, Tang Dynasty China and. Um, the, the Korean, what we now call the Korean Peninsula, uh, mm -hmm. and it kind of coalesced and 
became this conglomerate uh, art genre, I guess. Uh, mm. So I mean, that, they, yeah. They, they, if, uh, as, as as is typical with with the Japan, they took they were influenced by something, and then took it themselves and right. you know and uh, made it their own and spin on it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and uh, it's also interesting because it's also in a way kind of an ancient ethnomusicology in and of itself. Like it mm. was kind of like also cataloging of you know, oh, this is kind of Vietnamese music. This is you know, kind of Indian, more Indian style music, and they mm. kind of you know had a whole kind of inventory of you know different east east asian slash you know mm. central asian yeah so the gagaku that, that, that we that we hear to i mean it was it came to japan and it was it was but it was used exclusively almost exclusively by uh the upper classes <laughs> right yes <laughs> and, and so, yeah. so your, your your average japanese peasant would uh, would have no clue right <laughs> Uh, that this music ever existed? Um, <laughs> no, um, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, it's uh, and I have read, I've done my research. Mm. Um, <laughs> that uh, that, that, that what exists today, the the corpus of the the the, the uh, of the music that exists today, mm -hmm. is largely what's been you know, handed down. Um, because there don't don't appear to be much in the way of uh, extant. Um, texts or, or or anything it's all been been passed down and kind of like um yeah trying trying to recreate for example uh music from a thousand years ago would be quite difficult because it's all been uh right. adapted and and uh and modified uh, and right, what we get right. today is not exactly what would have been heard you know even though they claim it's you know it's a thousand year old you know mm -hmm. tradition yeah, no, for sure. As you point out, it's it's not. There, yeah, there's going to be <laughs> a lot of distortions along the way, but uh, yeah, which is interesting in and of itself. It's kind of like an echo chamber of like you know many many generations, and mm. what was left of it is a testimony of some sort of sensibility. But right in a kind of pure you know scientific you know in an era where we have recordings of high fidelity recordings it's not going to be like exactly the same yeah as yeah. it was <laughs> that's years mm. ago no for sure not mm. so where where i mean <laughs> where would the, the the i mean the public in the past didn't know about it but i mean i've read since that um it has been become it has become known mm. obviously uh so the, the japanese public that's another question, actually. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, but it's um, but it's now. Where would you where would you hear it normally? Hmm. Uh, so nowadays, you could hear it at rituals and, or you know at yeah, rituals in, at Shinto shrines or Buddhist temples. Actually, um, kind of a consecrated event. Uh, or nowadays, even they have. It's rare, but they do have kind of irregular concerts at you know just concert halls mm. uh around the country well mainly in tokyo but you know in around the country where yeah they just perform it as kind of art music let's see otherwise yeah that's kind of it if you're like you know a commoner mm. like myself oh. you know you can't uh like, if you're not the emperor you know <laughs> yeah it's true i mean you're, you're kind of limited. I, mean, I read that, that a couple of times a year in in, in kyoto mm. they have performances uh, the imperial palace sort of you know it's 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 mostly the imperial palace um mm. uh, orchestra right I, yeah I know, not, what, like... the, 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 that is the the mainstay uh, yeah. of, of, of this uh, and they do have public well, performances so like a couple yeah. of times a year yeah it's the right the imperial house band as it were yeah. i guess so. <laughs> um and not quite the beatles not quite yeah not quite <laughs> uh yeah they're not there yet um let's see yeah so and yeah so that's kind of it's weird because that 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 kind of centralization was kind of a late later kind of post meiji thing you know where mm. you know it used to be more localized and people would just hear it you know at different shrines local mm. with local variation local tunings but yeah it's become more like oh it's the yeah so that, 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 that question question number i can't remember oh yeah whoops sorry <laughs> yeah, <just> skipping questions <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I should what I should do actually what I should do is uh, I I have uh, here is something I made earlier. 
<laughs> I, I should, I mean, for people who don't know what gakaku music is, uh, mm. and, and those that do, you know, know what's going to going to come next. But mm. um, this is this is a particular example of gakaku. It's not all gakaku. Doesn't look like what I'm going to show you now. Um, but you'll get an idea of the kind of music uh, and generally what it was used for in the Heian period, uh, so about mm. a thousand years ago. So if I, I, I flip over here and oh, cool. I uh, go to playlist and I uh, click on that and I press play. Now, I don't know if anybody can hear the music. I can hear it. Oh, good. I hope yeah, the audience can hear the music. So I'll just yeah. be quiet for a moment. Let's be quiet and let's let's leave these ladies do their thing. Yes, it's uh yeah. If I have to, I have to talk to make sure it's that's the thing with hangouts. Uh. <laughs> 75%. Yes, I, I, I put the music slightly down so that it didn't drown. I can, I can turn it up if you like. <laughs> yeah, I see that, 75%. There you are. That's about 90%. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'll just pause it there. Um, mm -hmm. Why not get an example from his channel, asks Light. Uh, well, I, ha <laughs> I have, but, uh, but he doesn't strictly do gagaku, and he doesn't dress up like that either. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, yeah, I mean, well, when I do, I don't post it on Facebook, yeah, on no, YouTube. I mean, but, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, mean uh, I do have examples of, of uh, Joshua's work uh, in another back backdrop, but this, this to, just to, to elucidate, this is um, Shrine Maidens performing a Kagura dance uh, right. in Kyoto um, about a year ago or so. Um, okay, so yeah. this is this is apart from court functions. Um, this is, like you said, it's ritual functions that Gagaku music is is used for. Now, when I see this. Um, and you, everybody thinks of Japan as like you know Tokyo and you know, all modern and and westernized, and then you see this, <laughs> it's kind of, oh, and it kind of brings it brings it home that you know that, yes they have a, they have this sort of you know background and tradition. And to what extent? I'm just jumping to a question here. That that do you, do you think that the average Japanese person uh, is aware and knows of of this? You know, background and history, or, or or is it something that just just is is vague and and is it taught in schools, for example? Uh, not well. It's not a standard thing. I mean, I know that um, people like people who do gaku come from uh, uh, you know from you know or some some people from the imperial household sometimes go to you know. Uh, schools to teach you know it's like a crash course kind of thing like oh cool you know it's this exotic you know even in japan it's like oh yeah, look at this exotic, exotic you know yeah. thing right which is kind of weird but yeah generally speaking it is a very vaguely known kind of like oh yeah it's kind of like that thing we hear at you know new year's you know when people visit the shrine for new year's or for whatever mm -hmm. reason you know aus auspicious occasions uh it's yeah if I, if I ask an average person on the street what a show was, they would mm. they would be. I mean, you know, some might know, but it would take mm. them to like what what mm. what you know, like, give me some content. You know, like yeah. there's a lot yeah, more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what is a show? <laughs> right. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you, have one, do you have one to hand? Can you show us a show? Oh, um, I can go get it real quick if you want. Yeah, that would that'd be yeah. good. We'll have a okay. show on the show. Isn't on the show. Oh yeah, for sure. Hold hold on one sec. <laughs> While he's getting his show, I'm just going to chew this pizza. Yeah. 
you'd like to know what videos Joshua wants you to play to explain. Well, no, it's uh, uh, when I play the videos that I've got lined up um, from Joshua's channel, it's more to do with his heart. Less to, less to do with Kagaku, although Kagaku is involved. All right, this kind of. All right. Kind of dangerous looking case. It's, yeah, it's so it's like, like mafia, mafia guy, you know. Yeah, exactly. Japanese you mafia, got... they, they don't carry violin cases, they carry show cases. Right, yes. <laughs> Have you got the stuff? I've got the stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I hear it. This is it's wrapped oh, in this kind rough. of. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Um, very finely mm. uh, crafted patterns. Uh, I wish I could say more about them, but yeah. Let's see here. Oh yeah, and just to answer uh, Light's question, I do make music and am definitely interested in making music for his vi uh, YouTube channel. So yeah, let's hmm. let's talk about that. <laughs> well, let's let, let just hear the show first, and, and, sure. and then, we'll, then, we'll, then we'll move on to your videos. While well, I finish this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so well, the thing with the show, it's, so here it is. It's like a kind of like a Star Wars spaceship, almost. <laughs> kind of the, or oh, oh yeah, I, I see. I see what I see. What you did there. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, Cool, awesome. And so uh, it has 17 pipes. I don't know if you, yeah, here we go, 17 pipes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, let's see, it's said to represent the phoenix or like the heavenly bodies. So it, you know, it's kind of shaped like a phoenix wings kind of resting, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It has right, 17 pipes of which only 15 pipes actually sound. Um, there was some atrophy, I guess, <laughs> along the way of, of, of the evolution. Oh, they, of the they, still put the two, they still took the, put the two dead pipes in just for the aesthetic look. <laughs> just for the, right, just so that it's symmetrical. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and there are fingering holes here, um, where where if once you when you press them, the, it sounds. So if I don't press anything and I just blow into it, nothing sounds. But when oh, I press the right? finger holes, you would. You know, it, so basically, it, if, if you, yeah, the, the holes are there to you know sealing the holes traps the air, right, right, yeah. and uh, it, it so there so there there are holes in the inside that uh, correspond to the kind of resonant lengths of each of each reed, mm -hmm. and once I plug the hole, it completes that chamber and right so that the by then it allows it to resonate more and make make sound if that makes mm. sense <laughs> that, was, that was kind of a jumbly way to say it but yeah basically uh when when the when i don't press down the the finger hole that that length is not the the resonant length is not completed and therefore it like the read just doesn't sound at all mm. yeah so yeah it's kind of a weird mechanism free read instrument which means it's a relative of the harmonica like mm. you know like in dylan <laughs> yes that's the connection the there. On the show. There <laughs> right yeah exactly <laughs> um and uh yeah yeah so this is the show uh, another interesting quirk i guess is that it needs to be heated up in order to sound uh oh, that, that is rather weird it's, it's yeah, a, you, you 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 take your microwave to the concert. <laughs> exactly right. You need, it's a it's a high maintenance instrument for sure. Yeah, very. Yeah, it takes a lot of care. Um, so basically, before every concert, right, and and they used to do it with charcoal. And I think mm. you know the folks at the Imperial household, they actually still use charcoal or you know that kind of high, uh, you know. Uh, aristocrat slash gake it's, they're called gake but it's basically the traditional uh families that have been tr preserving uh the gaga tradition for over a thousand years they mm. would use like legit um charcoal heaters we, um we meet like my uh people more modern musicians mm. they just use kind of like electrical coil you know those oh, right. science heaters you use in science class you know those um, so you you, you, yeah, you have to heat it up to a certain temperature i mean you, you know you yeah 
when you're watching a concert and, and, and the person's going, <laughs> it's, it's done it a bit too much. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, it, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't hurt. <laughs> uh, um, it's so it's hard to, you know, when I'm when I was told that, you know, once you get to know the instrument more just by feeling it, like they never really tell you, oh, it's mm. this, you know, such and such number. Uh, it's very Japanese. It's very Japanese. You've yeah, got exactly. it's, 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 intuition in Japanese is a, is, yeah. is, is, is a big assumption. All Japanese assume that, that, that you can pick up things intuitively, which is not always the case. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Some of it is very implicitly cultural. And yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so, uh, but I think a good rule of thumb. As I was told myself, is about five minutes on the on the heater, just mm. rotating it like a roast, you know, like a kebab roast or something. And I got that, it this vision of all these like 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 musicians, sort of all there in their costumes, sort of like, like turning their, their. Oh yeah, you no, know, that's that's a day in the life for yeah, a good player. Yeah, and it's just uh, you know. Very, very aristocrat like right like you're just sitting around and it was like well, it's time to kill well, we're not there we go. <laughs> exactly yeah just kind of well oh, we got we, time we, to, we, yeah can, can you give us a tune <laughs> he said um sure i mean probably I'll, i can play like the beginning of like a denrak or something which is a very common one okay. i mean i'd have to heat it up first um which so okay five minutes give, give me five minutes <laughs> ask you some other questions um sure i mean yeah. the, uh, i should go to a question too which i missed entirely okay uh, because uh, um when we when we started to correspond and and i got you a, a, as a guest on the show um mm -hmm. you I, I discovered your your full name and i noticed right, that yeah. uh, your middle name is that of a greek philosopher uh, that right. you went to school in japan and also your name is not japanese could, right. could, could you explain <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, yeah, I get this all the time. In fact, okay, um, uh, right. So let's start with my first name, Joshu, which mm. is uh, derived from uh, the Taoist philosopher. The Japanese pronunciation of the Taoist of a Taoist philosopher. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Taoist philosopher, Chinese Taoist philosopher. Um, which one? Not sure. Um, I can link you to it. Um, I don't know how it's, what it's how it's pronounced. In, oh, uh, it's, not, it's not. It's not trying to or allowed to. No, no, no. no. Uh, well, else. yeah, yeah. Somebody else. Some some other guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, not the ninth century yeah. anarchist. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Come on. So let me just get the. So yes, so it's well, a, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, um, of an obscure Taoist philosopher. Yeah, Taoist, Taoist. Yeah, Taoist. Um, but so right. So there's my first name. It's Chin. Uh, it's the Japanese pronunciation of a Chinese monk. But mm. when I write it in Japan, uh, I have, there is like a you know there are characters for it. But the but the pronunciation of those characters are of the Chinese version of those characters. Okay. So, you know, it's okay, that's confusing. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, so that's my first name already, mm. kind of like, okay. I've, and then I've, I've lost like half the crowd already. Yeah. <laughs> um, Heraclitus, Heracle oh, I can't remember. Uh, was it Heraclitus, is it a middle name? Yeah, Heraclitus, yeah. So that's from, yeah, the Greek philosopher, Pantare, mm. right? Everything is in flux, that you don't go, you don't step in the same river twice, mm. uh, that guy. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Zipporin is actually your just family a, name, so I just assume. My, that's, um, yeah, yeah, it's just it's uh, yeah Hebrew, Hebrew in origin, and mm. kind of got you know uh, Amer yeah Americified, and you know when they immigrated, mm. and yeah, there it just stuck with that kind of quirky yeah mm. uh, spelling. So, yeah, so you, you, you you have sort of three great intellectual traditions. <laughs> and encapsulated in, in, in your name. Yeah, no, okay. yeah, yeah. Big shoes to fill for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those it, are the ordinary, went... ordinary names. We're, we're feeling all a bit sort of like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's still, yeah, it's definitely a handful. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I guess Kalaku is one way to tackle yeah. that. <laughs> you, I, I, I noticed from your, your because you sent me your website. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, in in the bio there that you you went to school in Japan, so uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like from what age? Right. So well, you know, I've always been going back and forth 
you know, a lot, you know, like in some spending summers in, in the States and then mm-hmm. going back to Japan. But uh, when I, uh, we kind of moved uh, more, well, I don't want to say permanently, but kind of settled in Japan when I was first grade, mm-hmm. uh, at, at which time I attended a local Japanese school for a while. And that's where I learned my Japanese, well, at least my foundation of my Japanese. Um, and then after a while, I moved to an international school so that, you know, I could keep up with the kind of more my Western side, I guess, and just to be away from being totally, well, like the education system isn't great after a while in Japan. After all, <laughs> okay, all well, is said well, and done, you know, just <laughs> drama on fun in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just um, you know, a yes. personal personal opinion. Um, um, so yeah, move. So yeah, that's kind of the basic. Uh, right, just, just as a side question here, Light is still with us, uh, my friend ah. uh, from Saga Prefecture, and says, uh, "Oh, cool. How are you, you, that Joshua, making uh, money, making your money? How do you earn a living?" Uh, um <laughs> fair, fair very question. question. <laughs> very uh so basically I uh I'm free freelance as a composer. I get commissions here and there, and that's basically uh how I yeah, make a so far it's been working out pretty good. Um I should also I'd be remiss not to mention that I'm also partly on a uh, travel scholarship from my alma mater, uh, which helps me kind of get by when things are, you know, as mm. as it is being a, you know, freelance composer. It's, mm. you know, it's irregular. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes, you know, so that kind of evens it out nicely for me. So, yeah, that's basically how I, I get uh, by. And the, and the, sometimes moon, moon, moonlights are in, in, in no performances, <laughs> changing costumes. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, right, yeah. And some, yeah, pocket money there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, so yes. Well, 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 yes. Uh, you, so you, you're going. You're switching. So that explains why you went to university in Berkeley, in California, and mm-hmm. went to school in Japan because you you, right. you, 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 you keep flying backwards and forwards. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There it is. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, here's me Still picturing you as a, 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 a small child in Japan with a yellow hat, walking in in, in line down down, and, and at what stage? Uh, 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 of this educational career, uh, mm-hmm. did you first become interested in in uh, philosophy and music, and which which of the ah. two came first? So my interest in philosophy came pretty late, actually in college. Um, I used when I, at least in my high school years, I was more of a biologist. I considered myself more as this kind of scientist slash biologist. Um, I think that was one of your questions too, which yeah, I won't spoil too much of it. But um, yeah, I, I was in this kind of uh, research program thing where you know I got to conduct my own research on plant galls and things like that. Uh, which oh, is really on, cool. on what? Plant, yeah, okay, <laughs> lots of things. Plant, <laughs> plant galls, which is oh, a plant, kind oh, of gall, gall, like, like the galls, gall, yeah. galls on, on on trees. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of a symbiotic Symbiotic relationship. With, with insects. Yes. There we go. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that kind of intrigued me as a, you know, half Japanese, half American guy, you know, just on a conceptual, you know, on all levels, really. So, you know, I, that, that was kind of my main thing. Music was always a passion for me. Uh, I always kind of, yeah, from a pretty early age. Well, I started the violin at four, so that's pretty early. My main instrument's the violin. Mm. Uh, and yeah, about, at about, middle school i started i think i wrote my first like song you know like beetle you know beetle yeah, yeah. Jazz, you yeah. know alt rock kind of thing uh and yeah I, composing wasn't so much of a thing for me i i like doing you know covers with my with my friend buddies you know mm-hmm. doing simon and garfield you know just harmonizing with guitar that kind of thing you know so that was fun but yeah my main so yeah my compositional interest kind of peaked at in, in university when I realized how quirky I could be and be, and, you know, be okay and get away with it, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yes, uh, I, 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 did, I did, agree, did, did a degree in art, so I mean, yes. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, okay, so, <laughs> yeah, I, something, you, right, right? Like, oh, there we go. It's cool, right, there you go. That's, yeah, <laughs> shut up, shut up the listener. <laughs> well, no, not like that, but yeah, yeah, no, it, it's definitely a uh, kind of door opening moment mm. in college, yeah. 
Um, so when, I mean, you, you, when you're in, you're in college in Berkeley in California, uh, <laughs> and you were living in Los Angeles. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, Berkeley actually, just in oh. in in around campus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. is that is that I mean is that where you developed an interest in jazz? That's what uh, oh, well, jazz was an early, well, not early, but yeah, high school, since high school, I was like in jazz combo, you know, I played mm -hmm. bass and violin, you know, kind of all mm -hmm. around. And is that, is that, is that, would that yeah. be West Coast and cool jazz or? <laughs> mm, no, you know, pretty standard stuff, you know, Coltrane, mm -hmm. uh, Pat Metheny, uh, uh, Marcus Miller, you know, like you know, for more and more modern uh people yeah just stand going through standards and things like that yeah yeah mm. pretty yeah so i mean yeah that developed there in college in in, in the us i mean yeah so uh -huh. it's, you know it's not something you came across at primary school in japan <laughs> <laughs> well right not certainly, <laughs> not, certainly you know. not right right no yeah 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 it was yeah it was at high school in my international school we just kind of got together and so in, when you were in Japan, when you were uh -huh. being taught, and this goes back to that question about gakaku and, and whether it's taught in schools, and you say, yes, they, they sometimes come in and, 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 and say, hey, listen to this, it's your her heritage sort of thing. Um, right. But uh, <laughs> they, they, do teach, they do teach traditional music in, in Japanese school, I understand, um, presumably, as well, as, as, as regular sort of Western music. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in sense of, um, but do they teach gakaku or do they teach more kind of like folk music? Uh, in just local Japanese schools, you mean? Mm. Uh, yeah, no, more, more, yeah, Miyo they would teach now and then, yeah. but mm. yeah, but uh, pr pretty cursory. I mean, I only, only went to uh, like a local Japanese school uh, until fourth grade, so you know, mm. my, my sample is skewed, but yeah, the time that I was there, uh, I didn't even know what Gaku was, or you know, nobody ever really mentioned it to us. Um, mm. Yeah, in fact, I don't remember doing any any like traditional Japanese art form of of any kind. Um, I think if I had stayed a little longer, they would have touched No and Kyogen a little bit, but uh, yeah. certainly not Gaku. No. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's an equivalent. I mean, I have to go back a long time <laughs> to to, 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 uh, to when I was a, a, a child in English schools. And yes, we to, to be you know to be fair, we didn't really get much in the way of. I mean. Um, uh, uh, I do not think that uh, mm. uh, English Morris dancing is ever taught <laughs> in, uh, I mean, in music lessons in English schools. So. Uh, interesting, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's not, it's not quite in vogue, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I mean, how yeah. The show, how's the show doing? I mean, how, uh, the, 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 the show. The show. the show, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think the show is going great. Uh, um, and yeah, the show is just—I mean, it, it's not at its optimal level, but I can, you know, just for the sake of hearing what it sounds like, I can just, you know, whip out some quick, like the opening the um, Shoujo Choshi, uh, which is kind of an introductory thing they play before, kind of like a not quite a tuning piece, but uh, kind of a warm up piece before a uh, bugaku dance in the Hyojo uh, key. So yeah, here it is.
and so on and so forth. But yeah, wow. it's, I kind of fidgeted yeah. around with it. But yeah, so that's kind of well, what I mean, it sounds like. <laughs> how I mean, because it's quite quite different to to most of the music, sort of even even traditional minyo uh, Japanese minyo folk music, and and different certainly different to to Western music. So how oh, different sure. was it was it for you to 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 learn it? Um, it was really. Um, let's see. Um, it was so from as a string instrument, it was hard to which like the kind of physical training was harder for me. Just you know, mm. getting my kind of uh, breath, yeah. breath in shape, and you know, uh, especially with the show. Because uh, yeah, so I guess that would be the hardest part. So the fingering technique itself isn't that technically hard especially coming from the violin it was pretty easy no, i wouldn't i don't want to say easy but like it was more applicable my skill set was more applicable to uh the, the instrument but what was really difficult for me was m the breath control mm. uh especially for the show because it really so i forgot to mention this earlier but it sounds both when you exhale uh, inhale and exhale mm. um not just when you exhale so what that means is that, uh, or at least how the aesthetic goes, that how they uh, conceive of the aesthetic, it's uh, you're not once you start playing, you're not. It's the, the sound you can't, can't stop. stop. <laughs> yeah, at all, at all. Like, yeah, it's that's like, a big no coughing, no, 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 no. <laughs> right, exactly. No quick, cheap breath. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you have a cough, yeah, forget about it. It's yeah. So that's a really kind of. Uh, yeah, so it really, you, you really have, your breath is pretty much naked the whole time, like your rhythm, you can't like, you know, cheat and take a quick breathe, breath or anything. So you really have to kind of con look ahead into so like, okay, I'm going to need to. A, a meditative experience. Exactly. I was going to get to that. Yeah, it, it's, it's a meditative process. And, you know, you start to get kind of lightheaded too because you're, you, you're kind of out of breath. So that adds to end. <laughs> Your field of vision is also That's blocked the whole time. 1,400 years. So they're all they're all high. These cool <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. It's it's an experience. It's a trip. Yeah, it's an experience <laughs> in and of itself. Um, but yeah, it definitely gets you in that kind of uh, meditative uh, state, I guess. And yeah, in playing the show. Uh, yeah. So that was really hard to kind of, and I'm still yeah, working yeah, on yeah, it. To yeah, be honest, but... Now, now I have great. Hmm. I mean, I've done my research on Gagaku a bit. Uh, I mean, yeah, awesome. in, 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 import, imported from uh, from as way back as the, as the fifth century from China and Korea, mm. uh, and then uh, as we said, mixed together with um, with native Japanese, uh, whether that's Yamato or whether that's Ainu, I don't know. But um, uh, yeah, that's uh, deliberate. I guess I don't. Yeah, that's unclear. Like people yeah. don't. Yeah, give a straight answer. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah, let's just say Japanese. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. So, and, cool. yeah, yeah. and what we got, the result was was um, gagaku, which has lasted fourteen hundred years. is is still practiced by the the the, the, the house band of, of of the emperor. And um, but it, I read that it uh, it actually has had an influence on the, the development of music. Uh, whether that's in general or whether that's in 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 Japan, I don't know. But uh, the, mm. do, do do you know of of this or you know what what influence it's it's had on musical development? You mean given it's, that it's such sort of you know it was it was cut off from the major part of the population for a long time. Right, right. Um, well, when you say develop, you mean just in general, like what? Yeah, what's I mean, the context? I, I, what I read was that it you know uh, uh, that it had influenced. I mean. It's as if the, the, they were stating that you know kakaku is so important because uh, uh, it also it, it, you know, influenced musical development. Um, huh. It didn't explain further, and I was wondering whether you might be. Able to... Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what exactly they're referring to, but I mean, it's undeniable that it it developed. Well, at least speaking within the country, uh, it yeah, it, of course, it it has uh, added to the development of. I mean, it was a big stimulation, right? They were importing all these different kind of cool new musics, and mm. uh, it was kind of a new flavor uh, mm. to. So yeah, I mean, I just I wouldn't have much more to say about that, but just yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's it's undeniable I mean, it's, that yeah, it's, it's 
it's and it's obviously influenced uh, developments in music styles in particular spheres. Mm. But um, you know, in the popular in in Mignot, you don't see any kind of you know Gagaku oh, yeah. Mignot. Uh, and vice versa, I would say, probably, yeah. Right. Well, actually, well, not so much. Vice versa, maybe a little bit more, just in that, well, um, ga, if when we consider Gaku as a kind of... Um, uh, I mean, they, 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 have similar, they use taiko, like here in this picture behind me, they've got the, mm. the drum, you know, they've got taiko drums, and, 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 and or it's a gong, I'm not sure whether it's a gong or a drum. There's a drum, yeah, like taiko looks yeah. like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like using, for example, the show. Let's let's go back to the show and and mm -hmm. the, what's that? What's the flute that starts with H? I can't uh, well, he, with H, Hichiriki is uh, Hichiriki, yeah, yeah, not technically not a flute, but it's a um, double reed instrument. So yeah. it's but those those, like those are in originally in origin in, in uh, Chinese. Um, yeah. Whereas whereas things like the taiko drums and the koto, which is also used. Uh, a Japanese, although the koto is, is very well similar to to, to Korean instruments. As well. Right, right, yeah, they, yeah. There's definitely a but there are genealogy. there are like Japanese instruments used. So oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Japanese there's the... like so. There's the, there's maybe kind of like a connection with the minyo in in that uh, sense. Yeah, I mean, I'd say also gaku is more like the conglomerate, the aggregate of. Mio import so that like the certain melodies on the Duteki uh, kind of became morphed more to the liking of like more Japanese melodies mm. from you know such Mio's or Kagura or uh, Utamae that kind of thing. Um, so in that sense, you know, it influenced Gagaku, um, mm. but it's kind of weird to say it also said um, that it, it's also weird to say at the same time that it was influenced. It influenced Gaku because yeah. Gaku itself is already kind of like a hybrid, you know, yeah. um, uh, stew pot. So it's kind of hard to, but yeah, I mean, definitely Mio did have an import into Gaku music. And I think, and what's especially interesting as a show player is that um, we can't really change the keys on the instrument. So what happens is that the, the Ryuteki and the Hichiriki are able to adjust to more microtonal nuances in that, that come from the more Japanese, uh, the more traditionally Japanese, you know, melodies, uh, whereas the show kind of stays in that more Chinese, you know, temperament mm. and, and uh, scales. scales. Mm. Um, so we kind of have this kind of, cl not, not clash, but like juxtaposition in the same piece, you know, in Gaku music mm. of like a Japanese aesthetic melodies going on in the Shiki and the Ryuteki while the show, meanwhile, all, all the while plays more Chinese. Chinese yeah. uh, yeah. Sonority, sonorities so yeah, yeah that's yeah kind of an interesting facet about gaku it's very sectional you know it's mm. not it, there was no concept of like a composer right that writes down all the harmonies it's just kind of each instrument had its own thing passed down mm. and of course distorted in its own way oh, yeah, that, like, goes, oh. that goes back to the, the, it being a conglomeration of, of, of th there's been nothing written down there's no there's no corpus of material it's it's kind of like you know, it's it's its own thing, kind of thing. Um, right, right, right. But <clears throat> your interest in Gagaku now uh, 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 leads on to the, to the question: you you produce Gagaku fusion work. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So, um, how how difficult is that? Because for those who remember the bit that I played, the bit of Gagaku that I played, it's quite. Um, What's the word? Uh, uh, I'm trying to find what uh, it's. It's. Uh, it's. it's I'm there, there are no harmonies, melodies. It's kind of like um, right, right. it's, it's uh, homophonic. Mono, monophonic. That's the word. I was monophonic. Looking. Okay. Monophonic. It's monophonic. Um, so how, how how do you how do you adapt that to when you're doing covers, for example? <laughs> Right. Well, so the one we heard, the kag that that was more kagura, which right tends to be more kind of mon uh, melodic, yeah, like melodic, and just like kind of yeah, one kind of yeah, kind of and chant. Yeah. yeah, two, yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> um, so, um, but if you listen to um more, uh, so yeah, more more kind of so we call the kind of ensemble 
uh, repertoire for gaku kangen, which is mm -hmm. basically you know just a word for orchestra. Mm -hmm. um, there are. It's weird. So yeah, I don't want to say it's not quite as uh, monophonic as the example we just heard, um, mm -hmm. but it's not quite like. You, you can't expect box counterpoint from it either. Mm. Like you, you're not going to hear a symphony in the Western sense in it. So it's this weird kind of. Um, yeah. So how do you see. how do you then that transcribe that into because you right. you've done covers of of of, 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 uh, of Beatles songs right. in a gagaku style. <laughs> right, right, right. And it's quite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to listen for the for you know for, for any like frame of reference. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, so the what I do with those is that um, I seek out common commonalities in a more um, uh, structural way, I guess, um, yeah. where or, or like analogous conceptions of musical functionality, I guess, um, where you know um, I incorporate so in both traditions. For example, the, there's the common idea of a cadence, which me, uh, me, little music term, which basically just means a kind of lead back to in, in Western music, it's you know a lead back to the home base, you know, mm. as they often describe it, back home, uh, a resolution of some sort. Uh, there's some tension, then resolution. Mm. Um, and in Western music, obviously, there are a lot of kind of fixed and concrete ways where we that we conceptualize that. Uh, similarly in Gaku, there are certain kind of key, key phrases that function as cadences. And so I kind of use those as, you know, the analogous form in Gaku to, you know, use where there would be, so for, you know, Beatles song or something, if there's a cadence mm -hmm. here, instead of using, you know, a 5-1 chord in Western music, I would mm -hmm. use, uh, you know, Boku Ichi or something, which is a different form of, um, cadence in in the gaku tradition so that's kind of the interplay i guess um also i like to kind of uh, take traditional segments and not change it at all um and it's often surprising because gaku is so kind of abstract in a way right yeah, like yeah. the way it's <laughs> yeah very <laughs> exactly very flowy um so um it's actually verse what what happens in you know kind of gets it's kind of like, it's kind of like you, you, I listen to Blackbird for example ah yeah and, yeah and 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 I was I was I was waiting you know <clears throat> Blackbird sings in the dead of night and no no I didn't hear that <laughs> <laughs> yeah Blackbird, no. Blackbird deconstructed <laughs> exactly you no know, I mean that's what I've that's exactly what I was going for um, okay. yeah uh, I didn't. I, th I hear, I, I think that all too often in the name of uh, fusion, what happens is that the, uh, a kind of more obscure instrument from a more obscure tradition like a uh, instrument. Into a regular sort, yeah. Yeah, that, exactly. That very nicely into question 11. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to get the popularization of Gagaku and, 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 and spreading it, you know, uh, making Japanese people aware. And <clears throat> former imperial court musician. Uh, uh, ex, ex Beatle, <laughs> right? Yeah, Hideki <laughs> Togi, Togi tours around Japan with his brand of Gagaku fusion. I've listened right. to it, and the Gagaku elements are there, but not pre predominant, which would explain why. Yes, yeah, so they just they just warm their shows and uh, <laughs> yeah, and, right. and, and then mix them in with the bass and the drums. You know? Right, exactly. Uh, yeah. I, 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 have you heard his stuff, and what do you think? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I have listened to his stuff and his kind of fusion works and cover works. And um, yeah, I like, I think it's cool what he's doing. And, you know, it's it's one thing to do. And, you know, that's cool in and of itself. But I think we, it, it's, yeah, I think it's time for a change, I guess. You know, it's, there, there could be other ways, at least, of, of uh doing fusion where it's more the other way around where gagaku kind of subsumes mm. uh, a big song or yeah blackbird where mm. you can decompose it more on it at its core where it's really and you know using western instruments even to kind of emulate the sounds of a gagaku instruments instead of you know the so there's, there's, there's all these people exactly. warming their harmonicas <laughs> right yeah exactly right do the whole ritual <laughs> you know um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. And kind of going through the kind of form, you know, don't write anything down and kind of go through the stylized conception of, of mm. you know, the, the, it's a whole different time 
time scale, right? Like how the mm-hmm. how things progress and uh, coalesce with each other, different elements coalescing with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so, so yeah. basically, when they, they when they would then attend a Gagaku fusion concert, yeah, it would be with a different mindset, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to a regular Hopefully. concert, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, right. That goes on to my question. I mean, at the moment, Japan is becoming more and more popular uh, in the right. West, uh, mm-hmm. and amongst sure. the young, this is amongst the young. Listen to me, <laughs> old part. Uh, amongst the young, this is focused largely on pop culture, uh, and, mm-hmm. and, stuff. and amongst the older generations, you know, sort of uh, saga tours go do Japan, um, traditional arts and crafts and architecture. Do you think Gagaku, mm. uh, in its raw form, would be able to appeal to either of of those groups, the older generation or the you know? You know, yeah. cool, cool Japan. Here's Gagaku, you know, and everybody goes, oh, <laughs> right, right, yeah. That's something. Yeah, I've been again. I have a bone to pick with. I guess the popular, like, it's great that Japan is being popularized more and more in this in the in the Western world. I guess mm-hmm. put crudely, uh, but right, it's kind of one sided. It's more or less just. Oh well, yeah, I mean, well, for the for the younger generation anyway. But I feel like. Gagaku, right, kind of remains this weird, shadowy, vague thing. And, you know, I think that's okay. I think well, the question was, would it appeal to either generation? Right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the new Japan fans of, in the West, would it, you know? Or do right. you think- I mean, I, hmm. yeah, I think so. I think, I think if presented right, and, you know, that's something I've been, I'm trying to figure out at the moment. Uh, mm. it, it would appeal to uh, to both, really, the younger mm. generation and yeah, older generation alike. It's just that it's it's kept in such this in this such in such a kind of highfalutin, you know, aristocracy, you yeah. know, mysticism thing that it's uh, it's you not, know, not to, you know it's it's not approachable. Uh, I can't yeah, know. exactly. It's kind of this inaccessible world, and people you know don't seek it out because it's forbidden to them so it's it's kind of yeah and that's how it's presented too so it's yeah mm-hmm. but so if if we can find a way where it's not just you know a hichiriki playing tenor sax but still preserving its kind of ont- ontological uh, yeah. role um that it used to take you know mm-hmm. back in its day in its heyday yeah uh, but regarding that light has just mentioned uh you know, Gagaku, if you just say that Gagaku is only Japanese or from China and Korea, people go wild when it's labeled as Japanese. You know, oh. you, you go to, you know, the, the sort of like uh, the shop, those shops that sell, you know, t shirts. Oh, right, yeah, made in yeah. Japan. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose, I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. But even so, I just feel like as it if you know then we could just play like a traditional gaga tune it's so mm. like it's aesthetics are so kind of esoteric i guess yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard to there's no common language like there's a lot of common language assumed mm. in it that's kind of uh archaic i guess well i think it's it can be made topical but you know mm. as it is now if you just you know hand it out to someone it's gonna mm. be like whoa that's weird um so you know we, if we can somehow cultivate a kind of common language that would allow for that kind of weird, quirky, new aesthetic, you know, mm-hmm. then I think for sure it, it, it would appeal to um, both, you know, young and older generations. And I think one way to do that is, I mean, I, I kind of said it in the intro, but uh, uh, kind of combining it more with our modern paradigm of knowledge. So instead of presenting it as this archaic art form that's kind of touchy feeling and hard to access, um, Bringing it, you know, reconsidering again its kind of original purpose and uh, con- on a more conceptual level, which is to kind of represent the universe in a way. Like e- each instrument has its kind of uh, role um, and it represents a certain kind of uh, element of the universe as they understood it today. Mm-hmm. And I think it would be really interesting if, we that, could, that, if at the moment that is not happening. At the moment, it's no. still, still, you've still got the sort of the imperial court band doing their their, their thing, and it's twice right. a year, and the Japanese public sees it. You uh, know, uh, uh, when I was in Japan, you know, there was a uh, uh, some uh, uh, shichigo san going on, and and uh, in Fushimi Inari in in Kyoto, and there was a uh, like Shinto ceremony going on, and I heard all the music there, and I've heard it. At, mm-hmm played at, at, at weddings and stuff in in Kamakura um, right right but 
generally speaking, they 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 they, they don't come across it, uh, right. and and right. even less for 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 Western audiences. Um, but right. assume, assuming that, that that some of them do come across it, Japanese, and some of them in the West do come across it. Right. Do you uh, do you notice any? I mean, uh, if you've done, have you ever been to Kagura perform uh, and, and and Gagaku performances in the West? Have you ever uh, seen? Oh, uh, in the West, no, no, not no. Not no, so no I, when when going through YouTube and looking for for like material. Uh -huh. uh, to to play, you know, there, there was you know, right, right. even one here in Belgium. There was there was like, you know, the, the court musicians get around. <laughs> so oh yeah, yeah. Know, I mean, like, no, I mean, uh, I know Germany, they do it. Belgium and you know, Europe and 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 in, in some Columbia in yeah right uh, Columbia, Columbia University uh, in the states. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Western audiences are exposed to it. Yeah, um, sure. And the Japanese audiences, to a certain extent, you know, with with, with weddings and rich rituals at, at, at shrines and so on. Um, but do you? Uh, the question really was, after all that blab <laughs> blabbing, was the, do you notice any difference in the reception to it between Western ah. and, and Japanese audiences? Um, well, with my limited uh, sample from you know the Western side, I'd say uh, yeah, yeah. It's, well, hmm, where do I? So I, think, I feel I mean, you've got, you've got to sort of if you're pr proposing to do fusion, Gakugo fusion, and and and, and broaden, you've got yeah, to yeah. Know, you've got to know your audience. <laughs> right? No, for sure. No, I understand. I understand. I'm just I'm just trying to think how to how to phrase it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, in in, in America, when you know people hear hear about uh, the music or you know go to, I mean, you know, from from my knowledge anyway, they see it as a you know, there's the novelty factor of mm -hmm. like, oh, it's it's this obscure, uh, exotic, you know, Japanese, you know, ancient tra tradition, you know, they have all these great art forms, you know, and it's just kind of like this, um, um, yeah, just a novelty, same way you might yeah. go to like an artisan ice cream shop, you know, like yeah. it's, 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 and then, and then, and then <laughs> it's in, Japan, hip, in Japan, it's know? kind of like rev almost kind of reverential, would you say? It's sort of, yeah, this is our history, you know, um, you know, yeah, it's gonna, interesting. Put it on our yeah. MP3s, but we'll go twice a year. To watch yeah, I, I mean, it's a mixed bag, you know. Some people, right? It's out of reverie. Yeah, at least, yeah. It's not in their iPod, but you know, they would go listen to it as like, oh, it's our heritage. But the whole heritage idea, I feel like, is the less uh, prominent in Japan as much as it is, it is, you know, at least among like Asian Americans, for example. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like the idea of like, oh, I gotta remember my heritage. It's more kind of like this. Oh, this is, I guess, this is our music. I think in Japan, it's like, okay, you say that, but it's like, I can't really viscerally relate to it. So mm. what does that even mean? Like roots music, I, I can't sing to it. You know, I can't vibe with it. So it's just kind of weird. Um, well, not weird, but it's it's this interesting balance of like, there's a sense of almost taboo to it just because of the association with shrines on one end, but there's also this kind of like lost, like, um, huh? Okay, that's there's this thing that we're supposed to be related to, but I don't hmm. I don't see the connection with my daily life. Like very disconnected. So your 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 mission in a sense is to try and bridge that gap. Exactly. Yeah, kind yeah. of make it more culturally re relevant for both parties. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of that, I mean, uh, hmm. you you do cover songs in in some of your videos. People subscribe hmm. to this channel. I did leave a link in the advert, and I will leave a link in the upload. To, to Joshua's channel. Uh, yeah, please come take a look. Maybe, maybe sort of encourage him to produce more videos, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, in, right, in, yes. In some of them you do the work. Uh, uh, so my, my question would be, um, who are some of your favorite artists? Uh, yeah, so The Beatles, for sure, is one. Uh, Steely Dan, Prokofiev, uh, uh, Bill Evans, Jazz, hmm. yeah. Uh, let's see. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, of course. Yeah, how could I? Yeah, how could I? <laughs> I'm just quoting you. <laughs> you know, you know me better than I do. Yeah, uh, Bob Dylan. Uh, let's. See. Yeah. Uh, some some Wagner doesn't hurt now and then. You know what? An, no, no, forget no. That. It's a, it's a, it's a bit a bit of ride of the Valkyries. You know, wake, wakes you up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very. Yeah, you are stood in your shaving mirror. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. 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 Ye
the, na- the neighbors banging on the wall. <laughs> Simon, so, well, yes, Rudri. Link us here in the chat. Link. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I need to yeah, uh, get a link. Hang on. <laughs> I need to get a link to your ah. YouTube channel. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and okay. Pop it into the chat. Here we go. Yes. Uh, I'm. I'm a bit a bit lax. <laughs> Let's see. Let me, I, let me see if I can. Yeah, get we, it yeah, off. yeah. I'll I'll let the guest do it, Rodri. He's probably. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll have it. I have it on my. Yeah, if you just pop, pop that into the chat for for our viewers. Yeah, hold hold on. Yeah, hold on a sec. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see. Here it is. Yeah, they have to work oh, when you yeah. come on this show, you know. Right. Yeah. No, no. So, <laughs> by all means. Um, and just get the chat here. Voila. There it is. I don't know. Is it in That's the chat? I don't see anything coming up. In in the YouTube comments? In YouTube comments. Have you, have you oh, oh, sorry. Okay. I, I misunderstood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Go yeah, just, go to, just go to the pop-out comments jobby and um okay Hold on. while we're doing that i shall i shall i shall uh i shall go to the, the to the most contentious question of all <laughs> right <laughs> and switch my backdrop <laughs> and there we are <laughs> so uh, this, is, yes. this is a question that the viewers perhaps have not all been waiting for, uh, but didn't, didn't realize they were waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. didn't, didn't see that coming. Star Wars <laughs> or Star Trek? <laughs> yep, here it. Moment of truth, right? <laughs> um, gosh, yeah, where did we get with that? Uh, I, I grew up Star Wars, let's just say. Mm. Let's start there, I guess. Um, Star Wars. Hold on. Let me let me uh, let oh, me just uh, put it in the, the photos I've got. Obviously, you've got st- the Hold on. How do I get the, the, the uh, here? original Enterprise? Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, built, uh, built for the show in 1965, and uh, over here is the original concept art in from 1975 for what uh, what Star Wars turned out to be. So can you say again the it got. Yeah, the, the audio dropped for some reason. All oh, right, the the, 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 <laughs> this, this is, this is con- concept nineteen seventy five concept art for Star Wars, uh, okay. and uh, the, the and then the original model of the Enterprise from nineteen sixty five, oh. which explains nice. all the old cars in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Um... So yeah, you grew up with Star Wars. I, yeah, I, I right, saw Star right. Wars when I was was eleven. Uh, I, I heard about Star Wars first at school. Somebody mm-hmm. said, "Oh, this is you know, this is cool film coming out, and 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 they're releasing a comic, and blah 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 blah." And uh, so uh, I, I saw the I got the comic before I saw the film. Uh, oh wow! Oh wow! Interesting. Okay, that's. <laughs> and I used, that's I used to have it delivered. I used to have it delivered from the from from the the news agents every week. Oh wow! The letter okay. the letter box went. Oh, I'm a Star Wars comic. You know. <laughs> Okay, interesting. No, I mean, I, 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 so yeah, I started Star Wars. Yeah, when I was pretty, pretty young, you know, obviously the movie, you know, I, I lightsaber fights, cool, it's, you know, all that, all that usual Star Wars things. Um, but I guess, yeah, later on, I realized, uh, I mean, so I'm not, I, I wouldn't call myself a Trekkie, that would, or not, like, not, not a professional Trekkie, you know, I would, <laughs> you know, I, they would, they would, you know, they would, they would, you know, they would shoot me down in a second if I went to, you know, Starfleet uniform pajamas or anything like that. Right, yeah, or, you know, if, if I did a trivia thing, they would shoot me down in a second, like, I, would be like oh, I don't know, but I, I do like, you know, what it's doing you know the concept and you know how you know the kind of the themes it deals with especially Mm -hmm. and uh spock as a character is really you know stands out for me i can i can really uh yeah i can really relate to that you know this is kind of half logical you know half human half you know total logical you know vulcan thing it's uh a lot i have a lot in, in fact even even doing like uh good music i have a lot of like spock moments where i'm like but teacher that not only would that be logical, but also inefficient. You know, like 
<laughs> very like but wait that makes that's yeah, yeah not, I, can imagine, I can imagine they're sort of like uh, 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 on the uh, on the show and then and then your eyebrow goes up you know? <laughs> yeah yeah <literally. laughs> yeah I, i'm spark every every week yeah uh, uh, Rod, Rod Rod says, uh, star trek is just allegorical politics in space <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, one way to put it sure yeah. yeah but they got cool they got cool uniforms and then they do yeah it, they've got that going um but yeah so that that's kind of for me so star trek is definitely something i can relate to more than like the star Wars, like just on a everyday you know mm. identity levels with spock but star wars you know i just like it's just you know classic good old you know good old arc that works it's it's mm. it's classic it's a classic you know? yeah Randy just... says it's, it's, it's like a flash gordon pastiche have you ever seen... <laughs> i mean i i i i've seen the 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 1930s flash gordon sort of serials that my dad said oh i used to watch those go to the cinema and uh, so i watched them there's like spaceships on wires and <laughs> cool uniforms. Well, the, the original series, the original series, not Discovery, not uh, not Next Generation. No, the original series had cool uniforms. Yeah, I think I think they did, especially the ladies. But I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah let's not forget, right? <laughs> made, their uniforms are made of polyester. True, true. Well, we don't, we don't know, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We, 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 we've gone from highbrow to lowbrow in, in <laughs> three minutes. Yeah, the whole human experience. Yeah, there, we go. there it is. So yeah, so, so uh, 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 you know, it's it's fifty. It's not fifty fifty. It's 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 kind of like uh, sixty forty. Star Trek and Star, Star Wars. I would you say for you? I would say yeah. Personally, yeah. I mean, at this point, I mean, it's bound to change anytime. But I mean, Perfect. especially you know after. I mean, I don't really consider like the new Star Wars, like the p post. Disney, Star Wars, oh, they, Star they, Wars they, they at all. Keep canceling them after the disaster that was Solo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll not we'll not get into that. We'll get you know all all those like uh, you know Trek nerds and and and, and Star Wars nerds. You know, it's, you know, I, uh, my, my, I shall be like lambasted on Twitter and and God knows what and Reddit and you know. <laughs> Right, right, right. The whole, yeah, whole universe out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, speaking of, I mean, um, of entertainment films and, mm -hmm. and stuff uh, like that, uh, we shall round off with the final question. Okay. Um, because, you know, you've warmed your show, you've, uh, <laughs> you, you've given us, your gagaku, it requires a particular state of mind, meditative state and so on, right. and concentration and, you know, you, 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 you're composing and, and everything, you're in the zone and all, all that. But when you're not doing all that, what do you, what do, you do to relax when you're not creating? <laughs> right. <laughs> Having said all that, mm -hmm. right. Um, well, I like, well, so it's weird to say music because, you know, I do that as a profession too. But I do genuinely, like, you know, just as a pastime as well, I, you know, get my guitar out and just do some Dylan tunes or, or you know, my violin, just go through, go through some box solo works or whatever. Uh, that's one pastime. I like, um, I always like going to the, to the ocean, like out to the ocean, like, you know, coastlines, rocky coastlines, and just kind of exploring the interesting landscapes. So you're, you're in Tokyo at the moment. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. So I go down to like, you know, Miura Peninsula where, the, you know, it's more kind of, country and open mm. um or you know hiking things like that I, I always enjoy that kind of thing that that kind of guy uh let's see uh no, so, you no, know, I'm what... envious of that i mean if I, I i have to drive two hours before i can go hiking <laughs> oh wow okay i mean yeah it's like yeah it's like in an hour train ride from from yeah like tokyo area but still yeah it's it's relatively accessible so yeah i mean yeah that's something i would do for pet um uh, I do to relax. Uh, mm. Otherwise, uh, you know, reading. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, just uh, looking at trains. You know, it's okay. Just, you know, just <laughs> low key, low key. Yeah, very, yeah, I'm 
very very low maintenance <laughs> i'm easily amused yeah it's, it's, <laughs> there we are there we have it folks so just, <laughs> like gakaku gakaku uh, expert um, and train otaku and the otaku, right? yeah that's otaku. That, uh, i can live with that yeah <laughs> Well, I, I'm going to have to round it up there. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, we'll, we'll leave it on that note. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd say thank you very much for Joshu. Uh, oh, for no, Joshu. thank you. And uh, I will eventually get around to putting a link in the upload. <laughs> to his okay. Show. Yeah. Um, and those of you who are watching after the event, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And those who are watching now, Radri and Light, the well, Light had to go. Um, oh, okay. And anybody, what? No link. No link. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. I want the link. Oh, God. I, you know, I could, I could, I could just message you a bloody link. You know. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> thank you for joining, joining uh, me, uh, Zosh. Okay. Thank uh, you so much for having me. And uh, next, next week, I may be guestless. Uh, uh, I, I have acquired this. <laughs> and uh, I may be using it next week on a on a live stream, uh, so I will no longer be wobbly on a live stream, <laughs> and hopefully my battery will last like it, a bit longer than, than it did on the previous live stream. <laughs> but that's, that's and the week after that, I do have a guest, um, also from Tokyo, um, and she'll be joining me, and uh, that's to do with um, uh, entrepreneurs and and whatnot in in Tokyo. Okay, okay. Uh, one quick question. Everybody? One, one uh, quick question. Oh, yes. Um, well, you may, you may how, free, free, free to ask. <laughs> I interject. Um, how would I be able to get in touch with uh, Light here? Is there a way that we could uh, maybe you, exchange yeah, I could, info? Uh, or? I, could, I could send you his, his um, Facebook whatnot. Oh. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, Yeah, that would be great. Just, yeah, yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah. Thank you so much, Simon. Uh, this yeah, it's really fun talking to you about Star Wars and Gagaku. And, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how related they are. You know, set that aside. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I mean we could we could have gone on for another hour, but I mean, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, uh, for another yeah, time. Well, you're welcome to come back. You know, if I. Oh no, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, it's part two. <laughs> All right, but just one last question. You ask. Um, um, do you do movie soundtracks as part of your composition work or musical scores? Uh, you get, you get so, oh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, mainly, for, well, so music. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, well, I may mean, need to put you in touch with Radri because he's a filmmaker. So. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. So great, uh, Radri. Yeah, for sure. Let's let's. I'd love to. Yeah, talk talk to you about that. Um, okay. So yeah, so, if you could could be in touch with them, that'd be great. I'm in the uh, channel one network channel. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. See the you, meet up session. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.